All right, this one's gonna be on pipx. It's a way to install Python packages into its own uh, virtual environment, aka sandbox, container, however you wanna call it. But it's own isolated, uh, you know, thing on um, your local machine here. Anyways, uh, first thing you have to do is install it. Uh, which is called pipx here. Just search into your package manager on um, what was it on Archer? It's on community. Was it Python dash pipx here? Right. Uh, I like this one better than the original pip. The the original one. It's uh, I mean it's good if you want like different uh, versions of it. But uh, if you actually just want one program and use it, you know, like uh, you normally do. Uh, the pipx is what you want to use because it will actually add it to your path uh, variable and you have it on your shell, which is what I always wanted. I don't want to activate the thing, whatever it is, every time I want to use it. It was annoying. But this thing, it's uh, much more convenient. All right. Anyways, so after you install it, the first thing you want to do, well, let me just check the help page here, is you want to do is ensure path. And because you want to do this, is that it will add it to your path variable. And anytime you install a, uh, you know, a software using this program, it will actually be uh, working in your shell without you activating it, deactivating it, whatever it is that you did with the, uh, you know, the OG pip one. Anyways, uh, you want to do is pip x ensure path, and I already added to my path. But you can see it says, you know, uh, this will be added to your path here. So anytime you install stuff on here, it will be located into your local uh, bin file here. All right. So this is the path here that will add it to here. So right now we have nothing. It was up here. We do pipx list. Uh, we have nothing right now. But let's say uh, let's install something simple like the um, what was it the calce. That's what everyone always install. So we'll do that. And there you go. So now if we do the list again, you can see that Calse is installed and it tells you where it's located at and everything, right? So now if I do Calse, uh, pipx works. And there you go. That's how you use it. So let's say if I install, what's the other program I install? Are you uh, to PTUI? Right, so if I install this one here, uh, which is, one of my favorite programs. If you watch my video on Aria 2 p uh, you can actually do Q. Uh, just check the comments on there. Uh, the um, developer told me that you, you have to go into the Aria settings to do that. Or the Aria configs to do that. But anyways, really cool program here. Now, if I wanted to activate this, um, you know, Aria 2 p I don't have to, like, uh, with the PIP one, I remember you have to, like, activate it to use it. But this one... It's already done for you. It's added to your path, and you just run it. Look at that. Uh, really convenient, right? Um, so there you go. So if you ever want to, what else can you do with this here? So you can actually uninstall some stuff. You can do um, injection. So if you have like another like, uh, I guess dependencies that you want to install on that virtual environment, you can do inject stuff like that. And if you want to do completion. Um, you know, I have completion now because I already have it set it up. So if I do pip x, I can do uh, completion with uh, Z shell here, right? But if you have a different shell or something like that, you can do um, pip x completion, and they'll tell you what you need to do. So this one you need to put into your bash rc file if you want uh, bash to have completion for this uh, program. And for Z shell, you just have. Uh, you know, loading here for this command here and this eval command. And that's all you got to do for those three things. And they have one for fish and this other shell here. So that's how you have completion. All you got to do is add that to your, uh, you know, your runs um, RC commands or runs configs, um, you know, for your shell. Anyways, uh, pretty much it. So, you know, if I want to uninstall something, I do pipx uninstall. What was that? Cal. We'll do tab here, and there you go. Now we have pipx list, and we don't have um, that anymore. And I can use my aria 2 p No problems, right? Um, so that's what I've been using for Python packages now. Uh, I don't think it works with every 
Python stuff. I think like like some of the new ones that they implemented that, but maybe not the older ones. Anyways, check out the um, you know the, the the README for the projects that you install. If they have pipx, you you probably want to use that one. Anywho, that's pipx uh, for installing Python packages, and uh, it'll be an isolated thing, so it's not gonna mess up your system if that's what you worry about. That'll be it for this one.